National Valor is here, and it's pretty much done within the first 24 hours for most people, but with it, a massive peak in the market. What's up, guys? Finally, he sleeps here. Today, we're going to take a look at National Valor and what happened in the first 24 to 30 hours of its release in regards to the exchanges and the market and what we have. First though, make sure you subscribe here at YouTube. That way you never miss when any of these FC Mobile videos go live. And then more importantly, make sure you're around on Wednesday, January 17th for the 95 OBR giveaway. You can enter it now over on the video uh, for the giveaway. The instructions are there. It, it takes place in the comments. We'll be doing that drawing next Wednesday. Uh, link below for the 95 OVR. Okay, so National Valor released, and that basically centers around these six uh, exchanges on the main tab that unlock your opportunity to claim one of the milestones in the event. And it's set up so that you can kind of do these over the course of the event and claim your points. But the quests were simple enough that they're already gone here for most of us as long as you were able to grind out some of the division rivals and maybe open a few gem packs as far as the event goes when it when it first unlocked and that gave you the ability to easily complete all of these exchanges especially since we have so many untradeables that were just handed to us through the last event that is still running winter wild cards so you have all those 89s and We've had all of these untradeables that we've been giving that dumped right into these. And if you've been stockpiling players and running my slumming method, you should have had tons and tons and tons of players to be able to complete these and move on. But not everybody follows those techniques. So the exchanges that were here have seen a big influx in a specific area of the market. We've had 84s go up. 85s went way up. We had team of the week players went all the way up through the roof. We've seen a ton of player values just start increasing, incre increasing with this, uh, where the slum value peak has translated to a two time, three time, up to a five time markup in some of these areas on some of these cards in that 24 to 30 hour. We've peaked out pretty much here on all of these values because a lot of the people have finished all of those squad building challenges or the exchanges. Once those exchanges are done, all the event is going to do is continue to give you players to dump into those exchanges. And since the exchanges will be complete at that point, it's just more fodder for your team. So this is where this long-term investing in slum value in specific areas of the market comes into play. We buy at their minimum value when they are flush in the market and we can easily pick them up where they have 999 plus uh, listings. We pick them up at that minimum value and then wait for moments like this to unload our stockpile of players. And it does make a big difference. We can go from, you know, overnight, you can go from 100 million coins to 250 million coins or 200 million coins to 350 million coins and double or triple the investment in those specific areas. But again, using slum value for this kind of stuff is not a short term game. This is a long game with long term gains. Um, it, it has to do with the slow roll of OVR as well, and we just haven't seen a big increase in OVR, which is really playing into this method of working the market. Because if the OVR is not increasing, 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 all of our investments and all of our uh, exchanges and everything are kind of in this one little pocket. Uh, things may change with team of the year, most likely not much change uh, if we go up from 94 to 95 and 95 to 96 maybe a 97 with ultimate a lot of us will be surprised don't expect 100 ovr cards to get dumped into this new event that releases on the 25th we will see the same sort of stuff so when values are at their trough level at their at their slum value the lowest they can go the things to look for are 80s and up 
uh, specific pocket ranges, 84, 83, 85, 86, 88, 89. Um, don't discount icons because we've seen things with those as well. Team of the week, obviously there was a big bump in team of the week for this. Uh, that was the first thing that I dumped out. I started throwing in all of my 86s and 85s as soon as the value started to peak this morning. And about halfway through, I was like, I'm going to record this because this is where all of these methods we talk about pay off. And if you can see the payoff in moments like these, it will make it a little less daunting when you have 100 million coins to spend uh, when the market is dead. And this is when we're investing. Uh, this is when you are going all in on stuff like we've just been doing for the weekend exchanges or the weekend uh, challenge, the weekend challenge that is dumping out 88, 89s. That's when we've seen those values come down. That's when a lot of us have invested 100, 200 million coins in 88s and 89s. This investment was long before this. This is not the weekend challenge investment. This is the investment from two to three weeks ago, right after the last market peak. So take that into consideration. It is easy. It is easy to turn players into profit as long as you have the patience to wait for moments like this. Um, hope that helped. I'm finally he sleeps. If it did, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Turn on notifications so you never miss when a video goes live. Then check out the giveaway. The link is below for that. That is going to take place next Wednesday, January 17th. That's it. Appreciate it. As long as you guys keep showing up, I'll keep making videos. All right, guys. I got 20 seconds here at the end to kind of map, map this out. There's like, I don't even think 20 seconds is enough time to say anything. Um, yeah. These are the other channels over there. They're actually over there. And um, probably going to run out of time. <laughs>